Uh, good, good happy Sunday, my people. Get a bit better. Right, today <coughs> I'm going to come from the book of the Gospel of John and we're going to go to chapter 12. Right, and this is about the woman, Mary, when she put perfume on Jesus' foot. This is what he's saying. It says, There they made him a supper, and Martha served. But Lazarus was one of those who sat at the table with him. Then Mary took a pound of very costly spike and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, who would betray him, said, Why was this fragrant oil not sold for 300 irony or given to the poor then he said not that he cared for the poor so Judas didn't care about the poor he was just being one of those that were looking for something he just couldn't understand why this was happening you see what I'm saying he was just looking for people yeah and he didn't like the fact that this woman was was doing this because he he was so used to see Judas used to put his hand into the money yeah, and he used to take the, some of the, the tithe and the church money, right? That's why he was so quick to sell Jesus out for 30 pieces of silver. But this is what gets me. When we go down to chapter 7, when we go down, sorry, we're in chapter 12. When we go down to verse 7, Jesus says to Judas, Let her alone. She has kept this for the day of my burial. For the poor you have with you always, but me you do not always have. So my brothers and sisters, today you could be at church, you could be at home. And someone could do a nice thing for you. But then you get the player haters, the backbiters. Yeah, you want to do something for someone, but like like all of us, sometimes we don't, we can't trust the motives of people. We don't know what is behind the reason why they want to do these things. Okay, so people will rise up to condemn what you're doing. You see, Mary, she was clever because. She had something that was very special and precious to her and she used it on Jesus. Yeah, she could have sold that and she could have gave it to the poor. But the poor will always be here. They will always be in your life. But Jesus, he, he wasn't always going to be there. That's why he says, when I leave, I will leave you a comforter, which was the Holy Spirit. So what can you, so like Mary today, what can you give to Jesus? What special thing can you give to him? Because he's been so good to you. Remember, Lazarus was dead. And Jesus brought him back to life. And Mary and Martha, they cried to Jesus. They couldn't understand why. And Mary loved Jesus. But Jesus couldn't be with a woman. It wasn't his calling. He had to go about his life without that to fulfill his ministry. Jesus sacrificed so much for us. So we could have life. Mary understood this. This is why she gave her precious ointment. And she rubbed Jesus' feet. That's why at the Last Supper. 
Jesus went and washed his disciples' feet. So today, my brothers and sisters, go and wipe your brother and sister's toes or feet. Yeah, I know it might be a bit mucky. I'm not saying you have to do that. I'm saying, though, go and use the best that you have for people. If you have a good man of God, use the best on him. Because we as pastors, we have to go through so much. And it's tiring at times. It's tiring. Sometimes we don't want to deliver these sermons. We just want to run away and have fun. But we know that our calling doesn't allow us to do that all the time. Okay? And the backbiters. Oh, like Judas. You're going to get people like that every single day. Don't listen to them. Don't don't let them discourage what the good thing that you're doing. Don't let them discourage the good thing that you're doing. If you want to do something and you're doing that, that out of a good motive and a good heart, then carry on doing it. You understand? If you want to help the poor, you help the poor. But at the end of the day, this is about Jesus today. This is about giving something great to Jesus. And sometimes the greatest thing that you can give to Jesus is by helping your neighbour. Because Jesus says, if you do anything unto these little children, you are helping me. That's why he says, if you feed these children, if you clothe these adults, if you do anything, you're doing it for me. Love thy neighbour. Because first Mary was loving Jesus, the Father, the God and the Holy Spirit. The second is to love neighbour. So today, go out and love your neighbour. If you're hurting... If you want to do something kind, help. Forget about the haters. Okay? Father, thank you for every strong message that we can have. And even though we go through pain and misery and heartache, and we go through trials and battles every single day, We do not understand sometimes and we don't have to understand sometimes what you are putting us through. But you are putting us through something because you are trying to make us stronger. Father, I pray for all my saints around the world right now. That the Holy Spirit will loosen the witchcraft and all the evilness out of their life, out of their country. Jesus right now, release your spirit. Release your spirit right now, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's your boy gifted one on this Sunday saying, Amen. Peace, my people.